Uh, get him out. Thank you. Get him out. Get out of here. Go home to mom. Nasty. Nasty. I have a great relationship with the blacks. I have, I've always had a great relationship with the blacks. To be honest, I always wonder what I would say to you face to face. You know, to be totally honest, like what would I say if I could ever cut, possibly say something? They falsely arrested me under the fact that I issued a death threat. I did not, and I'm willing to take a polygraph. It didn't just come out, you know, here in February, or you telling me personally. It, it came out internationally. So what it, my thing was, other people who heard it may have interpreted it like a call to arms. However it was worded, however it was, the sentences were cut off, the rest of the sentences weren't there, I didn't do it. But I am sorry you went through it. At the end of the day, I don't, I'm not, I'm not the type of person to hold grudges. If I was that type, I wouldn't even be sitting here having this conversation. It, it would have never happened. Point, yes, same with so, me. The news media don't care what they say about you or what they say about me. They want a story, and they will not let the truth stand in the way. But at the end of the day, we're men. We got to have a civilized conversation and be able to, you know what I'm saying? And it will be handled one or two ways. You guys, we're back here at the Crown Coliseum, the site where that infamous sucker punch occurred. And I tell you, even though Raheem Jones um, was embarrassed by millions following this incident, also John McGraw, he was called a racist. Today in court, the tone was totally different. Both men met face to face, man to man saying, let's have a talk. Today in court, McGraw's attorney said the incident was not racially motivated. McGraw and Jones also came face to face with McGraw apologizing for his actions. Their road to heal began last month when the two spoke here on a podcast called Panacea Open Courtroom. So in court, what happened when you came, when you saw each other and confronted each other? Um, when we saw each other, you know, well, prior to court, we had had a, you know, private conversation via the internet, which kind of, you know, we got to understand of who each other, who we were. We caught up in a political mess today, and you and me, we're going to heal our country. life after this encounter that Jones and, I, Jones and I have worked out. Everything else is behind us. We've gone on. We're going on. Uh, I think the world of his integrity and I tried to be the same. I had not been able to say what I wanted to say and when I was able to say something that was, you know, edited and chopped up and it wasn't me. But then I met Dan and his team you know, they reached out and allowed me to speak freely. And if it had not been for Panacea, we would have never been able to reach the agreements that Jones and I reached. We would have never been able to stand in the courtroom and stand for each other. 